I've been doing a lot of research to figure out how to get my dump actuator to get hooked up to my John Deere Gator. I have the six by four, the old school one. And some of them come pre-wired and you just put the actuator, but mine just has none of it. So I was trying to understand how to wire it and I finally figured it out. So this would be a good video for two reasons. It will explain how a five pin relay works and also how to make the wiring for this gator. So this is the relay they recommend. There's actually a slash right here, 30 slash 40 amp, 12 volt, 87A, 87, 30, 86, 85. So, <clears throat> excuse me, what we have is battery, power goes through a fuse and goes into the 87 and also the 87 here. So this is always hot, but it's always open. It's not doing anything right now. <clears throat> Off the negative side of the battery, it comes around and goes to the 86. And these aren't necessarily having to be jumped like this. This is just a wiring diagram. So you're gonna have ground going to 86. You're gonna have ground going to 87A ground going to 86, ground going to 87A. <clears throat> so what, how this works is essentially you have power always hot to the switch. And then that's typically going to the middle. And then the hot out for up is up here and the hot out for down is down here. But uh, nonetheless, you have power when you activate the switch let's say down, this is just a pigtail they have shown. It allows the power to go through here and down to here. So we already had a negative here. And as you can see from this, 85 and 86. So when, when this power gets allowed to go through here, that has a positive and a negative connection, which has a magnet that allows 87 to travel to 30. So if you remember, this was always open. It's just stopping, waiting, waiting, waiting. When this, when this positive comes through because of the switch, that positive hits there, positive and negative activate the magnet. The magnet allows this to travel down to the 30. So then that allows your positive to come down to your actuator. <clears throat> so on the opposite note, when we press up, the power comes through here, connects to here, that positive and that negative now connect, which magnetizes the 87 to the 30. And now this power shoots down and goes to the motor again. So I wish I wouldn't have wrote on this because it makes it hard to see. So as you can see, that's the 87 and the 30. So you'll see when the 85 and 86 connect, it creates the magnet, which takes the 30 from the 87A and moves it to the 87. So 30 to 87. See, 30 to 87. So that's the theory. Now, the next question I had was, okay, if this only has two wires and both of these are essentially positive, how the heck, where does it get its ground? So the answer to that question is this fifth pin. So what you'll find is that when nothing's happening, 87A is going to 30. Okay, so 87A, you see we have ran as a ground. So when, when we're not pressing the button, 87A goes to 30 is the ground. 87A is the ground. So while nothing's happening, this wire is ground and this wire is ground. So when we press the button... 
the 30 has the switch that moves to the 87. So now you're going from 87 to 30, like I stated. So like we're pressing down here, this sends a positive to here, does the magnet, and now the positive jumps to here. So this shoots a positive down. Remember on this relay, it's always on ground. So right now that's ground. So it's going to go one way. Now, when we do it the opposite, these are both ground and we hit the, I think I just went over that one. So we hit this one, it sends the positive to here. And now this sends positive down. Well, this one was normally open. So it was ground. So essentially these two wires are always ground when nothing's happening. When you hit the switch up, one relay becomes positive. So then you have a positive and a negative, which powers the actuator. And then when you hit the switch on the opposite, both were ground, it would create positive the other one. So then you'd have a negative and a positive and the actuator goes the other way. So uh, a couple things noted regarding specifically the gator. Um, the switch part number is AM116712. Um, some noted wiring I found, they say, um, use 18 gauge for the coil side and switch side. The switch is powered off by the key switch. So this gets full-time power once you use the key, depending on how you wire it. Um, so that's just, this is just how I think the stock gators ran, but... Um, it says use 10 gauge wire for the motor side of the relay. So that'd be like here, the red and the blue. Um, and it said to use a 30 amp fuse off the accessory lead. So that'd be that fuse. And you can see this relay is a 30 or 40 amp. So maybe you may have to bump that up to 40 if you're popping fuses. But that's essentially... Two things, how a five pin relay works and how we can start from scratch and build up a system that will operate the actuator. Hope that helps. And mostly, just as much as it's going to help you, it's so I can find this in the future <laughs> and remember how to do it. Oh, the other thing is, uh, if you can get these pre-made ones... The wires are already there and then you can just piggyback onto them but what i found is like this particular one like these are opposite so you would just have to read the particular uh relay you get but if you want to do it exactly like this use this relay otherwise you know you may have to be flipping stuff around but that's the gist hope it helped